This here is from Tortoise Media, who had that silly little podcast, Who Trolled Amber? We know the answer is not that many people. Yeah, a few, but not enough for it to be a thing where she got trolled wrongfully. They say Elon Musk had surveillance cameras on Amber and caught her doing something. Now, the thing is, these people are heavily on Amber's side. They praise Amber. They love Amber. And this article here actually exposes Amber for doing something not so good. Who would have guessed? We'll get to that. But first, let's see their context. It says Elon Musk has a thing for private eyes by Alexi Monstrous, who some of you know. So here, I guess they provide some context on something Elon did to someone else to build up to the fact that he did it to Amber, allegedly. British Caver, who helped save the lives of 12 Thai children, has demanded that Elon Musk reveal the full scale of surveillance used against him. So what? Musk has an outsized influence on the U.S. election as owner of X and a vocal supporter of Trump. I guess they meant outside influence. They say outsized influence. He styled himself as a free speech absolutist. At the same time, he used private investigators and other tools to silence critics. One of those critics is Vernon Unsworth, who sued Musk in 2010 for calling him a P-word guy on Twitter. Now, I must note, a lot of times, people who are against Elon Musk or other people tend to confuse defamation with freedom of speech. Historically, like Amber Heard confused freedom of speech with defamation. Let's make that clear. You can say what you want, but if it defames somebody, they can respond to that legally. A new tourist investigation reveals that the scale of surveillance used against Unsworth was greater than previously known. Musk used at least two sets of private investigators, both of which used deception to try to gather information. And we remember what happened when Amber used one on Johnny. He found no negative information. So the private eye thing doesn't always go so well for their side over there. They give some details about what happened with this guy Unsworth. They said Musk spent $50,000 on the investigators, and they say that Elon Musk won the case. Ultimately, the Twitter comments were portrayed as jokes, and they say that this guy Unsworth, who Elon Musk won in court against, still has this legal stuff hanging over his head. But enough about that. Honestly, this is just the context. The little details don't matter. The main point is Elon Musk surveilled this guy without his knowledge. Allegedly. And now they have their Amber warning. Musk allegedly placed his former partner, Amber Heard, under surveillance in Australia, having become suspicious that she was cheating on him. Hmm. Now, why would he think that? I mean, is Amber the type of person that would do that? Was Elon Musk absolutely crazy for thinking that at the time? But there's a little more. Around the same time, a local newspaper received an anonymous tip that an Aussie rules footballer was spending many nights at Amber Heard's house and leaving early in the morning looking like the cat that swallowed the canary. So basically, if I'm getting this right, Elon Musk allegedly put surveillance cameras up to record Amber because he thought she was sleeping with a footballer. I'm not necessarily saying it's right to record someone without their knowledge, but... I could understand where his paranoia or suspicion might come from. The paper traced the message to SpaceX, one of Musk's companies. When one of its reporters spoke to Musk, he accepted that someone close to him had sent the tip but claimed it was done without his knowledge. My personal belief is that Musk definitely sent it, says the reporter, Sally Coates, knowing how fast and loose he can be with online communication and Amber can probably be kind of loose too with her communication and other things. My personal speculation. And they give some other examples of people that say Elon Musk surveilled them with cameras. I'm not going to doubt it, man. He's a billionaire. He's got huge companies. And if it's legal, if it's his private property, there's actually nothing wrong with that. Morally, maybe. But come to think of it, if it's on his private property, or if there's permission... It's not inside their bedroom. So let me backtrack what I said. I guess it's fine. It's just not good if it's in a private situation. 
bathrooms, bedrooms, things like that. But apparently this wasn't. So basically, these people who are heavily on Amber's side are just saying Elon Musk surveilled Amber legally outside and caught her cheating with a football player. Good job. Thank you, Tortoise Media. That's one great article. Oh no, Elon Musk is so bad for doing this. Right? Wrong. Seems like one little piece of history that's out there now that's, let's just say, a negative thing you know who did. Allegedly. Who knows? Maybe the football player was just hanging out with her, drinking hot coffee, and playing Monopoly. Completely platonic. Anyway, if you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.